My name's Tobias and I'm the co-founder of Supernotes. And today we're really excited to share with you Supernotes 3.1, our latest release, bringing some much requested community features and also a surprise or two along the way. This year has been incredible for us at Supernotes. We released SN Pro, our open source typeface in January. And along with some new updates, we've been building this incredible big release over the past few months. Thank you so much for your patience and all of your feedback over on the community forum. We can't do it without you. So let's dive in. Did you notice the Easter egg we hid in the social media campaign we did about a month ago? When announcing Supernet 3.1, we did this poster. Have a look at it. Do you see the Easter egg? Pause this right now if you want to try yourself. Now, do you notice the shadow? Yes. And that is true. In fact, we are releasing AI today. But it's not what you might think. AI in note-taking apps today has been a surge and rise in popularity. But one of the problems with it is that it adds lots of content that isn't yours directly in your knowledge library. So all these incredible ideas that AI comes with or helps you with isn't actually your own ideas. You don't think about them, you just press enter. And we think that's a problem because you do not develop your critical thinking, your ideas, and we wanna improve that for you. So today we're releasing AI superpowers, which either add an, a manual step to help you learn and help you train you to become a better learner, or we automate things for you for things that don't matter. And that's true with the next feature with custom collections. Custom collections has been the most highly requested feature on our community forum, and rightfully so. It allows you to save a bunch of filters or create whatever you like and then have that saved eternally and synced across all your devices. What this means is you can create some dynamic feature sets such as show me all cards that include the word meetings or show me only green cards. And then they just automatically sync and update like an automated folder that is continuously updated with the knowledge that you want rather than you having to organize it constantly. We think custom collections is awesome, and to make it even better, we've added an AI custom collection prompt. So you can write a very quick prompt to create a collection for you, such as the one displayed on the screen, and then it will generate that with all the information filled out, including those filter groups, which can be a bit difficult if you're new. If you're not new and you advance to Supernotes, you'll love the flexibility this has. This JSON editor directly within Supernotes allows you to edit every single aspect that you might want to do within custom collections. That's a brief overview. Now, let's jump in straight into Superpowers. So, Superpowers are AI-powered feature. You probably know this already now, but there's two of them. You've seen the one with custom collections, and the one I'm going to show you now is what we call Vision. On any card, you can now press the Vision button. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to quickly see edits that the AI suggests for you, such as adding an icon, adding some tags that you might have previously used, or improving your spelling in places that you might have not realized. To apply any change, just click on the things that you want and then press replace. Done. It's that easy. But that extra manual step of continually pressing the word that you spelt wrong or the tag that you need to add helps train you. So next time when you need to write a card, you'll think about that yourself and you'll spell that word right and you'll also add that tag that you keep forgetting. AI superpowers are included for free for all unlimited members right now. Just log in and you can use them straight away. If you're not an unlimited member, you can upgrade right now as well. Just press that little button up there hopefully and you can get access immediately. Apart from these two milestone features, custom collections and AI superpowers, we have a lot more to share with you today. So let's go through the release notes together. You can always find release notes and super notes by just going to our website, supernotes.app slash changelog. We've completely reworked how share pages work with Supernotes 3.1. Just go to share.supernotes.app and you can enter any share code. All of these pages are now served on a different provider and we've reworked the entire architecture for them. So now they'll be 10 times as fast. You can also interject image within the share page URL and that will allow you to generate images on the fly of your cards. 
The coolest thing about this is that these images will update every time you edit a card. So you can have live images on GitHub or host them on different providers as well. We think this is a really exciting new feature and we can't wait to hear from you how you found it useful. We've also overhauled the print dialog, so now you can easily print more than 25 cards. You can print up to 300 in one single click. And now, from your feedback on the community, you can go and reveal spoiler tags or hide them, so you can create tests for students or test yourself using spoilers. You'll also notice that there's some branding on there and you can remove that as well if you're an unlimited member to make printing your own document. We've also added right-click contextual menus. We thought it was quite annoying how you often had to go and find the ellipses menu. So here on the screen, you can see how you had to go and find that correct menu sometimes with the cursor. Now, all you have to do is right-click everywhere on a card or on a card name, and you can use the right-click menu to do common actions, such as junking a card or hiding it in the outline. We've taken this a step further on cards themselves, and now you can go and copy card content directly with the right-click menu, and even copy cards as images as well. Over the last six months, Multiselect has also been in Feature Preview in Supernotes. Feature Previews are early access features for unlimited members to help us test and give us feedback. Now this is available for everyone, for free. Multi-select has been changed and combined with the interact with menu. So now you can select a bunch of cards and go and combine actions and do it in one single click rather than having to do each one individually. We think this is a big upgrade and please let us know your feedback over on the community forum. Apart from that, we have a ton of new features. I can't even explain it how much effort we both put into this, Connor and I. It is an incredible release. We've completely overhauled how the more action sheets work in mobile so now you can just just everything just feels more native you should just definitely try it out we've also added some new timestamp popovers based on your feedback directly on the community we've drastically improved mobile startup app times we've also improved android stability we have a lot of android app users out there and we're really happy that we can provide a great product for you We've also fixed a ton of bugs. Thank you so much for your reports and thank you for your patience as well. We know this release has taken a bit too long. It's taken a few months. We wanted to do that on purpose so we can add in some big features together as you've now seen. However, we also realized that some of you are waiting for updates. So we return to a monthly updates from now. So expect one every month. We think this is a perfect balance of giving you new features, but also making sure that we can take time with the releases Supernotes is built by myself and Connor, and just the two of us want to create the best product that we can, that you can use every day and rely on every day, as that is what's important to us, making a product that's meant for you. So that's everything today. Uh, we've covered so much in Supernotes 3.1, and we hope you enjoy this release. We're also experimenting with YouTube, so let us know if there's anything we can improve with this video. We'll be breaking down different features on Supernotes over the next few months. Which ones would you like us to focus on? We'll be happy to go over them for you. Just pop them down in the comments below. Mm -hmm.